Thank you, Toos, for becoming a level 4 member. Thank you, Sonny G, for becoming a level 3 member. Thank you, Manzor, for becoming a member, then going to level 2. Thank you, Legends, for becoming a member, then going to level 2. A big thanks to all my level 1 members. Xavier McKnight, Bradello 2, Abby Johan, Plasma CE, Nexus, Shovir Data. For as low as 0 99 a month, you get a lot of perks on my streams. You can talk to me whenever I play multiplayer games throughout the entire stream, or you can join my Minecraft realm on Bedrock Edition. If you want to join the channel, there is a join button down below. If you cannot see this join button, there's a link in the description so you guys can join my channel. What's going on you guys and welcome to a new video. I wanted to do an update on my uh, current mod pack because I'm not streaming today. So I decided to make an update in this sense. So the reason why I'm doing this update here now uh, is because I want to show this mod pack right now. <laughs> it's been a long time since I said I posted a mod pack and I have had some issues with some of the mods. But currently you can see it's 48 mods loaded. 48 mods active so there's a lot of uh, client specific mods too uh, I believe the server only has 42 I think there's a bunch of mods that are only for the the client so there's not too many mods that needs to be on the server which is pretty cool um, anyway so if you check the mods here there's a lot of cool mods in here and they probably have the green emerald because they are gotten like an update or something but anyway, so all of these mods are installed finally. I managed to figure out what the issue was. And um, apparently not all mods on F uh, CurseForge don't have automatic like uh, project ID and uh, um, what's it called? Um, file ID set up. So you can't get that automatically. So you have to do it manually. So I've added all the, the stuff that was needed to make this work. I've tested, tested this multiple times and it worked fine uh, with my custom profile, but that was just because, you know, uh, some of the mods did not have, so you can download them. You have to have make them so they download from the page. So I guess they get revenue. I don't know how it works. But anyways, uh, make sure you guys check the mod list in the description. I'm going to add it in the description of this video so you guys can check it out. Anyway, so you can do realms, of course, because this is an old client. <laughs> But, you know, there's just got the mod here. And I've set up a public server that you guys are going to be able to join. Right now, it's currently private. So, uh, it's currently whitelisted. So, no one will join randomly while I'm playing. Because there is voice chat. And I don't want to make this video sound pretty weird or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, so let's join in the server. So, I still have the same world that I had on one of the streams I did of this mod pack before it was available. Um, as you can tell, it's going to regenerate in real quick and it's going to probably lag a bit, but I think it should be fine after a while. So let's see, the frame rate is only 30 frames per second. I need to probably change some options here. i got a feeling it's only this much the problem right now because I just start. Oh, video sync is, is on. That's not supposed to be on. There we go. So now it's over 200 FPS. Perfect. So let's do F11. Okay, I thought it wasn't going to work for a second there, but I got it to full screen. There we go. So, here is the mod pack. It's pretty unique. As you can tell, the health bars are different. We got, uh, I guess, hit points, you can call them instead. Because there's no, no longer hearts. They're just a bar with the current hit points you have. So, you have 20 hit points at your first stage, basically. Just when you start playing. I don't know if I want to make your character weaker at the start. I might actually turn it down to uh, 10 in HP at the start. But as you can tell, this is it's pretty jittery sometimes. But that's just because it's you know not very stable. Uh, I'm trying to make it as stable as, as possible. But who knows if that's ever going to happen anyway. <laughs> so I got this starting village. So. Before I actually make this uh, server public, I want to try to claim this entire area. I'm going to give myself claim blocks because I want to recreate this village in the future. So I've already done this. This is just a, uh, what's it called? A backup of the world because the first time we played it got kind of ruined. So, but anyway, so here's <laughs> all the cool stuff that I have from before. Some of the stuff I actually grabbed. 
And some of this stuff was actually in this chest, but you know. Uh, I just wanted to show on, I think on the stream maybe? Oh no, no, I just, I just did this again, I guess. But the cool thing about this uh, mod pack is that it's got a lot of cool stuff that other mods have, like mod packs. Uh, for example, whenever you see crops like this, uh, I guess there's crops missing. I'm just gonna see there. Uh, if you punch the fully grown, uh, any fully grown like um, farm material or whatever you call it, farm food, I guess you can call it, you get some experience points, and it shows the one carrot collected. Really nice UI. I love that. <laughs> But anyway, so you can collect carrots, and as, long, as soon as every t every time you collect any kind, so you can actually just spend all your time farming. This should be a main feature of Minecraft, honestly. Uh, where in the, whenever you farm, you can just get more experience points, you know. As you farm, because you know those points are supposed to be for a lot of stuff, but they are not for farming for some reason. But you can actually farm and get XP, which is really cool. And I did not really think that I would actually get a village at the start. This was just a randomly generated world. Uh, there used to be like another mod on this, but I removed that mod because it's too complicated, I guess. Or maybe I was just panicking because <laughs> the stream didn't go that well because we kept blowing up. And, you know, can't do much when you keep blowing up. But this is a pretty good start of the server. I actually wanted at least a village nearby spawn but the fact that there's a village in spawn is pretty cool too so i'm gonna rebuild this uh, village with all the different mods that are available in this mod pack basically which is pretty sweet so i haven't really raided this village so i guess i could do it in this video here by the way there you get these three items um the materials and you this is basically a tinker's construct how to do everything if you need to know how to do all the things uh, of course you can actually harvest blocks with your offhand as well, which is pretty cool. So if you want to do that, you can. So you can see what you need to like repair sh or sharpen your tools, I guess. Interesting. I haven't really done too much Tinker's Construct since 1.7.10. So it's been a while since I played this mod because uh, it's usually in mod packs that have a lot of other stuff too. But in this case, it's just going to be more focused on... Tinker's Construct in general. You can see all the different types of materials you can make. You can make slime tools, which has pretty good durability, actually, so that's not bad, but you got all the different types of sl slime. Like, all the slime has materials, because, you know, I got some add-ons added to this, so I guess they include that. But it's pretty cool what you can make. There's so many things. I think the strongest material, though, is, uh, well, there's obsidian stuff. I didn't even think about that durability is not that great though it's not even close to uh diamond but it's a way to get you know the tools you want anyway so we got some uh osmium there's so many different types there's so many things you can do so you're gonna have oh dark matter tools that's even crazier i know those dark matter tools i think that's like magical related because I believe there's like a magical one. I chrome tools. Oh, we got we got actually got ruby and sapphire. Uh, that that isn't in normal Minecraft. That's interesting. We got peridot, red garnet. We got searcher's quartz. A bunch of different things. So here are all the bow materials apparently. All right, all the different bow pieces. There's so many things. So you guys should check through this book if you want to know about how to make certain things. Because I believe you can just click. Well, I'm currently at page 100. I guess this one goes all the way to the start. Okay. So you can check what tools. Like all about tools and stuff. And how you make it. All the pieces you need. But anyway. So there's also materials in you. Armory. This is like an add-on to Tinker's Construct. Which is pretty cool. Because... Um, it gives you armor options for Tinker's Construct. I haven't really played with this mod before, but if you want to make cool looking armor and you like the way it looks, you can actually change whatever pieces you have. Like you can customize your armor the way you want it to be, but you can still have a custom armor pieces. I haven't really tried if it works because I have something called cosmetic armor. So you can put special custom armor here. 
Okay, I guess I can still use cosmetic armor, but I can't use <laughs> if I don't have the right level. But I can still wear the the armor cosmetically. I think it's not gonna break the armor, which is pretty fun. But that's something you can actually do, which is really nice. And there, here's the skill system that you can level up. Attack, defense. You need to level up attack and defense to use swords and such. I actually might have to change so these tools also in are included in that. I believe these are for tinkers or some other mods. I can't remember. There's so many mods here, but the cool thing is I got some wolf armor. So my uh, wolf, if I ever get a wolf, I can put armor on him to give him some defense. So they can survive for longer, you know. But there's also a skill or basic technique. So that's gonna make you uh, start sword skills. I believe that's what the mod for that, which is pretty crazy. But it's, oh, there's so many cool things about this. And this video is not gonna be edited. I just wanted to give you guys an introduction to this. And yeah, uh, currently uh, this server has Tinker's Construct. Well, excuse me, Grief Prevention. There's actually a version of it for Sponge, the mod, the modded uh, plugin thing, I guess. But in this case, it's actual mods. You add actual mods to the Sponge Forge one. Anyway, so th these tools are useful though, because I can use them to kill the mobs right now, which is really nice. But you know, there's a whole lot of villagers hanging, hanging all the time. So there's a lot of cool villagers here that I can start trading with right away. <laughs> so I'm gonna, before this is public, oh yeah, you, you can see there's some items on the ground. That's pretty cool, right? Some items. How do you pick them up? You just right click them. There's also, oh, I almost forgot the most important thing. There's actually a trade mod on this. So you can trade with other people. You just, I think you just right click other people. And that's how you trade. I can't demonstrate it right now, but I might demonstrate it in a basically like a live stream whenever i play on this i might actually play this on saturday this week so if you guys want to check it out uh the server will be open by that time hopefully uh, i'm gonna actually play a bit so i can actually start expanding my protection area i'm at least gonna claim a house here i think i might actually claim this house here with the blacksmith so i have this <laughs> location so i guess i could just I don't think I have any tools. So let's actually do something real quick because uh, I need to set up my protection right away. Uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can, all I need to go is to do it like uh, get some sticks from a tree. I kind of wish there was a way to get stones from the ground without the you no know, tree punching. There's probably th something I can figure out, but I don't know. So you can actually um, break the leaves to get sticks. Minecraft, so that's still a good thing that you can do. So the frame rate is pretty okay, uh, as long as you have the right uh, unlimited frame rate here. Well, for me, I have a really good graphics card. Oh, okay, I'm gonna kill this guy. I've got a pretty good weapon, two good weapons right at the start, which is pretty useful. Uh, I think I can actually tree punch right away because uh, I removed no tree punching it takes a really long time to break the tree because uh, it's a custom mod you're gonna see what I'm talking about real soon here so uh, you can see the trees are pretty unique but you will see what happens whenever I push this tree over here unfortunately I think that horse actually might die oh I guess not okay so we'll break the entire tree and you can pick up the items, which is pretty sweet. Actually, those didn't have physics. That's interesting, but I don't mind that. That's fine. If you can just pick up the, the materials right away. So I got 11 wood and three sticks out of that. That's pretty useful. So now I have enough to get specific tools, which is really nice. Uh, I can start crafting. I believe, yeah, there's a crafting table here. So I don't have to waste any wood on making a crafting table, which is pretty cool. Oh, excuse me. But I can grab the sticks. Oh wait, I actually need to make some planks first. I uh, need, need to get a pickaxe, you know. Get some cobblestone. I don't want to break the current buildings here. I guess I should probably find sheep or something. Because I have iron to make a shears. I think I can use it even though I'm pretty sure they only make it for 
Okay, I need to be a certain level. I thought I could do it right away, but I need to be a level to use that. But whenever I get to that level in that those categories, uh, that's going to be useful to use. But I'm going to remove some sh garbage here. I can't use these yet because you need to. You see, you can, you can see the requirements you need for this sort of stuff, you know. Oh, this is a super sp like special ability weapon. So that's pretty cool. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> so whenever I get to level a high enough level, I can actually try it. See what the sword skills are all about. All about, you know. I guess I can eat some carrots. And you can see the 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 bar recovers. I don't know what it will look like whenever I can wear armor, but it looks really cool so far. I believe there's also a bar for each armor type thing. I'm not entirely sure though. But you know. Anyway, so I'm trying to think here so I don't mess anything anything up. We got some bread as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and go and mine some stone. There's some stone in this wall here. So let's go over here. I believe this is before the underwater stuff, right? I'm pretty sure that's the case. Okay, I got made it to Stone Age. Very nice. Oh yeah, I actually needed the wood to make a chest because that's the way you can actually, uh, what you call it, uh, claim your protection. Or yeah, well, sticks are used for. No one has claimed this block. Oh yeah, I would need to change what tool you use because currently I believe you need a gold axe to actually expand your claim, which is pretty painful. But I should be fine. All right, let's grab some. Uh, Guess I could just grab this chest, but I don't have any axe. I don't want to waste anything. Oh, <laughs> that's the only problem when you're not sure when you haven't been in this village. By the way, these wooden logs are for the dynamic trees, so it looks kind of weird. But whenever you use only logs, hold on, I don't have an axe right now, so I can't test it. But whenever you use logs, you can actually make log cabins and they will connect together, which is going to be pretty cool. This kind of looks gross though. <laughs> I don't know. Who knows? This village is going to be re-transformed anyway, so it's fine. But in the future, I want to make uh, a world where the villages are custom built with the moss in mind. Uh, probably a way to do that. But uh, I believe this is the house. Nope, that's not the house. There's a party in there, apparently. This is it. The library. Basically, I guess this is called the library, right? I believe. Oh, I didn't want to talk to you. But I oh, need to actually do this right here. So we got a chest. So I think I want to actually claim this. No, no, I want to claim the the house by the blacksmith right here. That's my current house in this. Oh, got a bit of lag there. That was pretty brutal. But this is the house I want to claim. So all I do is just put the chest down here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, can I actually break this without a tool? I believe I can, right? Maybe? Yeah. Okay, so I need to abandon all claims. There we go. So I have a 260 blocks available. I'm going to change so it's... Uh, okay, let's see. Okay, so it's protected like that. That's pretty good. Almost the entire house. I actually need to rebuild this house with the custom mods and stuff. Uh... So this is protected now, which is really nice. It's been claimed by Andreas SSG. Very good, very good. I don't know why it's small letters. That's pretty weird. Uh, but anyway, that's fine. So this is being claimed by me right now, which is amazing. Amazing. But you need a golden sh a golden axe, I believe, right? Uh, the chest is not protected. Consider using a golden shovel. Oh, a golden shovel. Okay. So I'm going to change that to stick instead. And the golden nuggets are going to be the ones that you can check if there's a claim, basically. So that's that's something I'm going to have to change in the future. Because it's going to be rough to get golden tools right at the start. Unless you find, like, gold, gold in a village or something. I'm pretty sure this village is... The villages are really bad in this version. Because they don't have a lot of loot and such. There's not even beds in each house, which is kind of weird. But, you know, they can't sleep in this version, I'm pretty sure. So, But anyways, that's that's something we got in the village and pillage update. I think that's 1.14 or something. I can't remember. 
well that's gonna be it for this uh this video guys i uh, hope you guys are interested in playing on this realm in the future i mean not realm excuse me this public server uh whenever you can because this is on the curse launcher right now so you guys can check it out it's pretty awesome there's so many cool things you can do uh, i haven't even started exploring this mod pack yet it's gonna be so much fun to start collecting and stuff like that uh, i hope to see you guys in the next video have an awesome rest of your day and make sure you guys download this mod pack in the description you can uh, just search on it ssg craft on the curse launcher to find this mod pack because uh, it works fine now which is great i'm so glad it finally works <laughs> i will see you guys in the next one have an awesome rest of your day bye bye